Hi, I'm Rob with We Keep You Cycling, and today the SKS Airbase Pro floor pump. SKS is a German company, and this pump is made in Germany. Their claim to fame is in 1956, they created the first plastic floor pump worth using. And since then, they branched off into mud guards and other cycling accessories, along with developing a nicer pump line. The 28 inch aluminum barrel gives you great compression with each stroke and is mated to a cast iron two foot support base with rubber inserts for additional grip. The combination makes a very hefty pump. Think German, think sort of over engineered for what we'd be using it for, but the result is a pump that can nearly stand on its own with single handed pumps. And of course, it supports both one and two foot pumping. On the top of the 28 inch aluminum barrel, you have their PSI gauge. Easy to read and connects to the four foot long hose. That's right, you have 48 inches. In addition to the 28 inches, the gauge is off the ground. You have nearly six feet from ground to where you could pump. Pump your bike on the ground, in a stand, or possibly on the back of a car with very little difficulty. At the end of the four foot hose, you have the SKS EVA valve head. EVA stands for Easy Valve Access, and it really is easy. You can put Presta, Schrader, or any type of valve extender in the head of this pump and just lock it on down. The internals of the pump figure out what it's grabbing onto, and how to ensure to pump it. So there's no changing of internal washers, there's no flipping of chucks, and of course, it supports valve extenders, which has been a sore point for me on my Lazine pump. It tucks nicely away with a little insert to keep the head and hose in check when not in use. I own too many pumps, more pumps than bikes, and for some reason, my stable of pumps just keeps growing whenever I find one that I like. The SKS is a very nice pump, but it does have three shortcomings that you might want to consider in your purchase process. For starters, while the gauge is very nicely placed, the PSI is on the inner ring, making the numbers a little difficult to read. Secondly, the internals of this pump are not intended to be rebuildable, and if you're looking at a lifetime pump or something to go the distance with you, normally you buy a Silka so you can rebuild it. SKS doesn't intend you to do that, and so when it wears, it's disposable. The third is really me overthinking things. SKS has a handle constructed out of aluminum wrapped in rubber. They put finger divots in there to make it more comfortable for your hand, but the fact is that it exposes the cold aluminum to me and my fingers don't line up with the divots most of the time. Kind of unusable, wish they had just wrapped it in solid rubber. If you can overlook those three shortcomings, you've got yourself a made in Germany. And you'll know by now that I'm a sucker for things still made in Europe. If the gauge is a point of contention for you, consider Lazine, but it's made in Asia. If rebuildable, and the handle quality is something you'd like to consider, check out one of the Silka, either the Super Pista or the Pista floor pumps. I'm Rob with We Keep You Cycling, and this is this SKS Airbase Pro floor pump. If you have any questions about this pump or any of the pumps we carry, drop us a line or email us, info at wekeepyoucycling.com.